Hi guys, just a cutscene before the end of the Miyoko project. I'll show you the assembly of these two metal models. Is it easy, simple and fun? Let's check it together. These are two metal models that I bought as a souvenir during my visit to Miniature Wonderland in Hamburg. By the way, I highly recommend this place. The link to the short report from my visit is now at the top of the screen. To assemble this kit we're gonna need some precise tweezers, a diamond file or even some regular file to make some corrections after cutting the elements. Bending tool will also be useful and some pliers. So the process is quite simple here, just cut the element, file the edges if necessary, then bend it properly and mount according to the instructions using tweezers and insert tabs on each element. Easy, right? Yeah, let's just say it sounds better than it actually looks, but I'm gonna tell you more a bit later. First, a few words about the assembly. So, you don't need any glue to make these models. On each element there are insertion tabs and insertion holes and what you just need to do is put one into the other and bend it to create the best connection. If the connection is not visible you can twist the tab, which is a lot easier, or bend it 90 degrees to make it flat for most visible areas. I've bent most of the elements using only my hands, so it's good to have some, let's say, sensitive touch and manual skills, but there are also folding lines on the inside of the elements that usually helps. So yeah, as I said before it looks easy, but let's focus on the difficulties that you will undoubtedly face when assembling this type of models. First, the instructions should be more detailed. In many cases, unfortunately, you have to guess how the element should be mounted because it's not exactly shown in the manual. I omit the fact that the only photo of the finished model shows it from only one profile. Therefore, you have to figure it out a bit and often look for solutions yourself.
Another disadvantage is the high stiffness of the metal plates. And yes, some elements are very easy to shape even without using additional tools, but there are some that cannot be bent without proper pliers and profiles. The models are for 14 plus ages human beings, but I doubt that a person of this age will have the strength to bend some elements properly. More than once I had a lot of sweat to shape the element and it didn't look the best in the end. And it would be enough just to make some elements thinner or from more flexible plates. To sum up, the model is not easy to assemble and folding it requires a bit of strength in your hands or more tools such as heavy pliers or photo edged rolling set. However, after the difficulties in assembling, we get a very effective looking model, so overall I think it's worth the work.
I will also briefly show you the assembly of this Coast Guard boat. It was a bit easier to assemble it, but the problems I mentioned earlier have also appeared here. For example, bending of this plate that is the boat's fender was impossible to do without additional tools. In general, the models presented here are not a perfect representation of a given type of motorcycle or boat. They are a rather interesting representation of their class. However, when assembled, they look very effective, so they will certainly look good on the desk of a motorcycle enthusiast or the MRCC president. As I said, it was just a short break from the construction of the DDG Miyoko diorama, I plan to make it as a slightly larger project, so you have to be patient. However, I hope it will be worth it. In the meantime, please let me know what you think about these metal models. Stay healthy guys and see you soon. Bye!